Crypto Diva from Pacer, and in this video, I am going to talk about MetaFi. Maybe you have heard it before, maybe not, but don't worry, I'm gonna explain everything. The concept of decentralized finance, or DeFi, has been steadily gaining momentum in the crypto community since 2018. It is based on the concept of sovereignty of wealth, permissionless innovation, and less extractive financial systems. DeFi protocols are trying to create a financial system which is more open, is less extractive, is more innovative, and it's more easily and more user-friendly. This is the exact opposite of the financial system that most of the people are using nowadays, which is referred to as CFI or TradFi, centralized finance or traditional finance. DeFi has been gaining a lot of attention, but its adoption is relatively low. Less than 5% of all the crypto assets in the world are being used as collateral. The metaverse is an economic system. It is basically a meta economy and it consists of two different layers. We have the surface layer, which is the interface, it is basically what the users see and interact with on a daily basis, which is so easy to use. And then we have the inner layer, which is the financial computational layer. So the Web3 DeFi protocols, the developers, they are engaging with this second layer. So the first layer, which is the interface, can be used with desktop browsers, mobile phones, XR, AR, VR infrastructure, which is the abbreviation of extended reality, virtual reality, and augmented reality stuff. The second layer, which is the layer in which the developers are working on, is basically the place that makes it possible for you to do transactions, to buy variables, to do anything that is related to the coins. The second layer, which is the financial compute layer, is a decentralized, transparent foundation in which the users can buy different digital items, exchange money in the form of different tokens, and do so much more things. A good example is Ethereum, which is basically a protocol which is used by developers to create smart contracts for decentralized applications, as well as a ledger which records all the transactions which is done by the users in the metaverse. There are billions of dollars of value trapped in Web2 on platforms like social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, some games, and they want to keep the user on the platform as long as possible to extract lifetime value and to create benefit for the shareholders. They don't really care about the benefit that is going to be for the users. In social media or free-to-play games, monetization happens with advertising and the profit is not shared with the users directly. The digital economy is growing. So much is happening on the internet. Games, streaming, films, musicians who are uh, creating art. There is so much happening on the internet and the only way to democratize the situation for the creators is to use Metafy instead of the Web2 platforms. We all know about the limitations of Web2 and the positive things that comes with Web3, such as sovereignty of wealth, security, freedom, permissionless innovation, and so much more. When the users have the chance to monetize their actions, regardless of whatever they're doing, if they're creating content, if they're playing a game, or whatever, if they can actually monetize their actions, the chances that they spend time on the platform will increase. One really good example is Axie Infinity blockchain game. Now let's talk about what exactly is Metafy. Metafy is actually the abbreviation of the names Metaverse and DeFi or Metaverse and Finance. It is referring to products, protocols, and services, which makes it possible to have some kind of connections in the financial system, which is connecting non-fungible tokens 
and fungible tokens. For example, using Metafy, you can use a fraction of an NFT as a collateral on a DeFi lending platform. To understand Metafy better, I'm going to talk about two principles of DeFi, which are making all this happening. DeFi is composable and unstoppable. Another important concept to consider is the gamification of finance. Generation Z are showing so much more interest in engaging with financial products than their parents and grandparents. The open metaverse framework consists of three different parts. The first part, which is called the foundation, consists of layer 0, layer 1, and layer 2 blockchains. As you see here, we have Polygon, Solana, Polkadot, and Ethereum as an example of the foundation layer. In the second layer, we have the DeFi, the Web3, the applications that are built on top of the blockchains which are on the foundation. For example, Uniswap is in this second layer. And at the top, we have the verses. For example, the central land or a sandbox, they are the metaverses which are built at top of this diagram. And if we want to refer to Metafy, it will be the two layers on the top. So Metafy will not include the foundation. It will be the DeFi part and the versus part. If an application doesn't integrate with this core layer, it will be completely isolated. And any kind of content or value which is included in this application will fade away. For example, Ethereum as a layer one blockchain provides smart contracts. Smart contracts are like smart money. It's like you can program the money. For example, the applications that are running on Ethereum can interact with each other if they are programmed to do so. So when we are building uh, games or applications on top of Ethereum, for the metaverse, they will have the privilege of being able to interact with each other and it will be a feature which accelerates the speeds of growth. We are still in the early stages of using Metafy in our day-to-day -day lives. It is literally a new word which is not familiar for many people. There are some limitations which need to be fixed by the pioneers in the crypto industry so that we can move forward. One of these limitations is NFT appraisals. If you want to buy, sell, lend, or borrow NFTs, you need to know what exactly is the worth of your NFT. NFTFi is solving this problem. You can list your NFT as a collateral, and then the lenders offer loans based on the value that they estimate about your NFT. The second limitation is legal and governance issues regarding fractionalization. Just imagine you have a very high value NFT, which is so expensive and it's really hard to be owned by one person. And you divide it into 100 different pieces and you distribute it among some owners. Now, if this NFT has some profits, yields, or owns some voting rights, it will become a little complicated because it's not clear who owns who or who can do what. The third limitation is standards across blockchain. Metaverse is getting built on top of different blockchains and not all of them are able to interact with each other. So chances are that maybe value get isolated and trapped. To fully unlock the value of DeFi into Metaverse, NFTs should be able to be insertable and pluggable into the DeFi protocols. Now let's talk about how NFTs can bridge DeFi in the future. One way would be fractionalization of NFTs. You can divide non-fungible tokens into so many fungible tokens. It will be like owning a stake in the ownership of that NFT and you can trade it, buy and sell it on decentralized exchanges which are related to DeFi, for example, on Uniswap. Another way would be NFTization of DeFi, which means uh, to make the DeFi protocols able to accept NFTs as collaterals. 
And then we can have NFTs as derivatives. We can have a range of liquid digital assets whose value is connected to off-chain assets or in-game items. We are just scratching the surface of possibilities. No one can say what exactly is going to happen in the industry, but uh, what is for sure is that there will be a lot of improvements. Maybe we will have better foundation and we will have lower gas fees. Maybe we will have some kind of user-generated games with their own economic system. Them, but what is coming is definitely really exciting. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Let me know what you think about the whole concept of MetaFi in the comment section and see you in the next video.